No, 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 let the stunt man do it because you can get hurt. So the stunt man does it. And for example, uh, Moses Lake uh, on the West Coast is a, uh, it's in Washington State, and it's all sandy. It's got sandy dunes. And, and, and it's uh, because it's closer to Los Angeles, it's a familiar place to film. So I was filming something there on a motorcycle and taking jumps off the dunes. And there was one particularly difficult jump. And I said, well, I, I, I can do it. And, the, and, and there's, no, no, put the stunt man do it. And the stunt man did it, and he did it incorrectly. He fell on his back, and then we didn't know at the time, but he broke his back. And he's lying there. And I, I rushed to his side, and I'm saying, God, man, I, you know, I wish it were me. I didn't really mean it. And, <laughs> And, and he's lying there, going, oh, dude. And then his girlfriend comes running down the sand dune and stands on that side, and I'm there, and she's standing up there, and she's saying, oh, Shatner, oh, my God, it's a Shatner, oh, Shatner. And she's dribbling salt as a sand on her boyfriend's face. <laughs> oh, Mr. Shatner. And, and the guy can't wipe the sand off his face. He's, he's peaking. He was scribbled. I don't know who got that. <laughs> Some man got hurt. I'm, uh, I, I, they're, they're doing a train sequence back east somewhere. Connecticut, I think, or something like that. And it was, it was a chase sequence in which I'm playing the bad guy and I'm jumped on the top of a, of a train doing one of those sequences where the hero or the villain is running along the top of the train, train's going, and the villain is running along the let me tell you, that's frightening. That, my dear, is frightening. So I said to the director, how are you, you, you going to shoot this? He said, uh, maybe we'll do some green screen back in the studio. Uh, no, nah, it's not going to work. I said, well, what happens if I get up there and, and um, well, let's see the stunt man do it first. So they run the train at 20 miles an hour, and the stunt man's up there, and he's leaning forward, and he's an airfoil. I mean, the, the wind is going like this, so he's like half flying. You see, he's in weightlessness. My first vision of weightlessness was a stuntman being pushed up by the air on a moving train. So I said to the director, well, I can do that. <laughs> I said, well, if, if you don't go 20 miles an hour, you go 10 miles an hour, I'll, I'll do that. Now, it was a diesel, which means that there was no place to cable me off. There, there was no place to, if I fell, that I wouldn't fall.